Well, if you have a story you'd like us to look into, let us know on our tip line. Send an email to tips at kimatv.com. You can also call us at 575-KIMA. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X and our YouTube channel. Students and parents at East Valley High School are still pushing to save the school's JROTC program. Several of them spoke out at an East Valley School Board meeting yesterday. Hunter Fitz was there and has more. As of now, the plan is to shut down the JROTC program here at East Valley High School, but parents and students that are passionate about the program are doing everything in their power to keep it going. And I don't care if we only have 12 kids. I need you to reconsider. That's why this big crowd showed up on Monday evening to talk with East Valley School Board members about the impact of the program. Jared C has become my second family, providing me with a sense of purpose and belonging. It's helped me learn how to become a better citizen. Enrollment and not finding another instructor were the two major reasons why the board decided to shut down the program. But all was not lost when fixing one half of the problem. I can tell you that there's a qualified instructor in this room with us this evening. This man you see right here is retired Sergeant Tim Gatton, who says he wasn't able to apply previously, but is interested now. Sir, if the job is posted tomorrow, I'll apply. After all the comments, board member Seth Bassford addressed the situation. Because of the way that the board policies work, and because of the way that the system works, um, we can't make any decision on things tonight. But we can go back and we can review things uh, that were brought to our attention and go from there. So the ball is now in the core of the school board when it comes to the future of JORTC at East Valley. I want you to have faith in us that if we tell you we'll build this program, we will build this program. Hunter Phipps, Action News.